Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer and Mentions reality update video, episode 43, and it's been a couple of hours since last episode. I haven't really seen the black hole be active, that's why I'm kind of starting it now. It has actually gone active, but I didn't see it because I wasn't really at my computer. And it looks like we're still a bit away from E3 or E400 infinity points. And I guess there's a couple of things I want to note. First, there's um, three completions of Eternity Challenge 1. But unfortunately, the goal is, com or the reward is completely useless until I get to Eternity. I'm not to Eternity yet. Achievements, we have everything in the first nine rows, but not much else after that. And I'm mostly just doing this as a demo to see what the black hole is going to actually do at this point. So, just 20 second wait, I guess we can discuss, we can look at the reality upgrades here. And actually, before doing that, actually no, the black hole is about to activate. I, okay, we're, we're just going to look at this. I don't know if I can pause it while it's active. I might get some kind of speed penalty. Maybe I want to, actually I'm going to pause it right now. Maybe this is a bad idea, but I kind of want to disable my crunch automation just to see what this will do. And now game speed is altered and it looks like I did waste some of it. Uh, let's look at Replicanti. Um, so you can see it seems to even affect the, um, what, how it seemed, it might've even, yeah, look like it affected the achievement thing, which is weird. Does it affect, does that mean it affects the, um, what do I call it? The, the attorney challenge things? I, didn't really check this. It says real time, so okay, it does not affect this, but it does it does affect achievements, so that is interesting. The one thing I did want to say was that I'm actually getting more eternities per second than the eternal flow says. It says I've got four per second, but I was looking at this, and this is obviously a lot more than four per second. It's because it's stacking with the. Uh, the, the other reality, the, the eternal amplifier. So I'm actually getting 12 eternities per second, which is enough to get a million eternities in about 24 hours, which is pretty great. It's really just going to eliminate the need for eternity grinding, at least until things start really getting a lot faster. But the thing is that the, the upgrade gets better every time I reality. So that's pretty great. I guess I can turn back on my automation and buy some time theorems because what I, I i can i'm up to six time theorems which is actually pretty good but if i want to get to 400 e 400 infinity points a lot of these early time theorems are just bad like 31 and 32 are garbage 33 is okay but Honestly, like, it's not really necessary for the kind of grinding I'm doing. The only useful thing is 21 until I get to the row 4. So, that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this, which hopefully should make things better, at least once I start getting more Replicanti. And I guess I'll just get something like 31 because it does something. Like, we'll see how much it does. That probably got me like one dimension boost or something right there so it's a little not obvious but yeah it's actually still a little bit of a grind Mo it's only a grind because i'm trying to go for this one upgrade and maybe i shouldn't even be going for it in the first place because i was looking at my perks and this perk is incredibly op for this purpose it's automatic automatically unlock the first row of attorney upgrades for free once you have eternities well, I'm getting Eternities for free, so I don't need to wait for that. And if we go look at the first row of Eternity Upgrades, look at this. Well, well first of all, we don't, even, we don't even need a lot of Eternity. We can just get this, which is a powerful multiplier on all Infinity Dimensions. But I also get this, which is obviously incredibly overpowered at this point of the game. So, it, it Un undoubtedly I'm going for this perk next reality. It's just too good at this point. And it's making me like, do I even I don't think I even need 
linguistically expand or not linguistically expand I'm, I, I'm getting all my upgrades but existentially prolonged this may be a horrible idea to do but I'm like it's gonna be so much easier next time I also can get more glyphs to help boost things and I'll just have more upgrades in general and I don't really need this because I'm getting all the stuff from the time studies or from the eternity milestones maybe except stuff like start with all infinity upgrades but that's that stuff's trivial anyway so i'm making an executive decision to actually quit like, like this is probably possible but who likes waiting for this but then i see the other side of the coin it's like the sunk cost fallacy maybe i've already grinded all the way up to e370 infinity points i'm only like three more runs from getting all the way to e 400 infinity points and it's definitely possible so why am i even like giving up at this point i'm already almost all the way there so maybe maybe if i just wait like another hour or so or at least until the next black hole then things will actually get i'll, I'll actually get there so yeah seen a bit Okay, I think it was right to wait, what was that, like 15 minutes? And I have E400 infinity points. So now, this means I can get 10 eternity points and unlock existentially prolong. I could get it now, except it's entirely useless to get it now. Because I already have way more than whatever it is. Um, 100, 100 eternities. I have like, what? 222,000 eternities, which makes me think I'm not gonna get, I'm not even gonna buy time dimension. I'm just gonna get this because it's like way better. <laughs> like E27 times eternity points? Yeah, this is, or not eternity points. Um, just like infinity dimensions? Yeah, that's gonna just be straight up better. So yeah, you can just see how powerful this is. I can get all the way up to like E. Probably 500 infinity points. And now the thing is, I am not going to buy any eternity point multipliers because I'm also going for the uh, paradoxical forever. So that is kind of interesting. I, once I get enough time theorems, I probably want to respec next eternity to get the even better um, time study 42. And then we can also put some stuff into time dimensions. So there we go. I can't really do much else. I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna manually crunch for now. I don't know what why it takes like some time. It's probably oh, it's probably because I don't have Yo Dog, I heard you're like infinities. I could probably just get that eventually once I get a few more infinity points and eternity points and just time studies. Because with this I can get easily E550, I can probably start getting replicated galaxies very quickly. It's also going to start allowing me to get more achievements, but there's E15 times more infinity points, which isn't even that good at this point, or going forward, actually. But if I can get the next one, you gain 15 times more eternity points. That's pretty good. So, I'm going for that. I'm also going for E800 infinity points. So just don't don't get the this just get this instead, which isn't even that good. I guess just buy into all these time dimensions, and I can it gives me a few time theorems, which really isn't all that much yet. I could get something like 71, 72. I'm not even sure. Just at this point, I'm just going to go on another long or not or just gonna go on another push run, I guess to get lots of infinity points and more time theorems. And this will also allow me, maybe I should just do like one demi push run like this, where I get up to about E800 infinity points again, because that gets me up to what, the one E3 time theorems. Or not time theorem, what am I saying? I, I, I'm mixing up all my resources. And yet we're get we're also getting achievements. We just got the the swarm, which is pretty cool. 
But actually, I have several time theorems here. I probably just want to go for this for now, which is really good at this point. So yeah, let's do that. It gets me up to E1000 infinity points. It looks like my replicanti speed is kind of maxed, is almost maxing out. So that's a little disappointing, especially at like this stage. But I think I'm going to be getting so many time theorems here that I don't think it's much of a concern. Unfortunately, this is a very, very weak time study. It's based on my time this eternity, so... I can just turn to here, um, just by max time theorems. It's enough for um, 101, I guess, and I guess a few time dimensions. I guess I just have to wait for more eternity challenge completions at this point, because there's not much else I can actually do. I could, I could get like this achievement, and maybe even, you know, I don't think I can get. Do you really need a guide for this? I could with enough luck get the this one but I'm, I'm not gonna try to actually get that so it looks like i'm capping out around e1200 something infinity points so i can i can probably just return to here i have a strategy you have two time theorems instead of getting time dimensions because this gets me everything down to time study 102 and then i'm gonna go for a fast eternity here so i can get um I, I can buff the time study 92. It isn't even that good of a buff, which is the funny thing. But if I just like go quickly like this, and then this, and hopefully... Oh, no. We're, we're, we're not quite there yet. Um, like this, and then... Yeah, okay, hopefully... Okay, a little bit better. It's not Definitely not the optimal strategy for getting the eternity time down it and it is, isn't even that good of an upgrade and i think what i really want to go for is i want to get um this eternity upgrade which is still really good it's not as good as like this one because this is kind of feels kind of broken because of just how many attorneys i can get but i feel like i do have to wait until maybe tomorrow to get the the next upgrade because of just how this thing the attorney challenge one reward is really weak the attorney challenge two reward isn't the greatest as well the attorney challenge the, the rewards get basically better and better essentially at least up until like about attorney challenge eight the nine and ten nine through twelve rewards are all pretty crap actually but yeah, I guess I'm just going to do some off-camera grinding because I can't really get to the next time study in a while. So yeah, see in a bit. Okay, I'm back and the black hole is pretty close to activating and we can get this powerful infinity dimension multiplier. So how far is this going to actually take me? I'm not really sure because... Even with this, I also said there'd be automation here. It's doing it every E25, or 25 orders of magnitude of infinity points. And it looks like this is about my limit. Now, this is enough to get all the way up to time study 111 if I choose to go down the antimatter path. But that still isn't exactly the most encouraging sign. I guess I really just need to wait for the Eternity Challenge Rewards to start really kicking in. I do want to see what the Black Hole would do with this kind of run, though. So, we're going to see this. Also, we're, we're not, we're not going to get Time Study 111 this Eternity, so we're, we're, I'm just going to purchase that. It's gonna It'll help a little bit. E1500 Infinity Points, probably just one more run, maybe-ish. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll do, like, one more run, like, 10 seconds before the black hole activates. So here we go, E1516. Infinity points, only a few seconds until black hole, and we'll see what actually happens. I might actually do this one more time, because I'm still getting some decent stuff. And here we go, the black hole's activated, and it's enough to get me up to about E1550 infinity points. It gets me, actually, a couple runs here. But even with all of that, 
it only gets me to about E1581. So, it also got me some achievements. It, it completed the 10th row for me, but that still isn't exactly the best thing ever. And I think I really just wait. There's nothing else I can do other than wait for the Eternity Challenge rewards to kick in. So I'm actually going to probably wait two days, and we're going to have all of them, and this is going to totally change the game. Or at least at this stage, more than... At least this stage of this particular reality, it's going to be a bigger effect than the Black Hole. At least, you know, we got to see what the Black Hole is actually all about. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Thank you.